Live citizens Johnny C be officiating another Bruiser matchup against Ken Dixon here tonight. But also, if Bruiser puts his hands on another official, he's gone for a year. He is the chief of security for the king of Maryland wrestling, Ken Dixon. And there he is, the former Rage Television Champion, Ken Dixon. I, I, I don't know, man, as a, as a bystander. Look at that, did you see that? Johnny oh, C trying to keep Bruiser back, put his hands on him for a second, and Bruiser said, I encourage you not to do that ever again. More importantly, I find it weird that Ken Dixon finally looked at the Bruiser, just spent the entire time with his back to the Bruiser. You never do that unless what? What? What are you? What are you trying to imply here? That's a, that's a heavy implication. That I, I would normally argue that point. That referee was the same referee when the Bruiser got his championship opportunity right. against King Ryan McBride. When you're, in case you remember, Credo, when you're right, you're right. And during that opportunity, what happened? That Bruiser referee got screwed. He got screwed. Yes. There's no two ways to slice that pie. He got screwed, and he got screwed by that official. Phil Stamper, though, saying he's a man of, of second chances, a man of opportunity. He need, well, Bruiser needs to pay attention to Ken Dixon, who is his opponent here tonight. Anyway, his, his emotions are not going to get uh, the that's best of him. Oh, my goodness. Telling him to count. Telling him to fair count me. He's, he can't count because he's in the face. This is some intimidation 101. And Dixon from behind again. Are we, uh, what are we doing here? Are we playing prison rules? Is that what's going on? Are we just like, are we just running on high emotion, Ooh. high octane at this point? Look at these shots from the former six time MCW champion. Oh, what hilarious. Bruiser himself, a former range television champion. Bruiser himself, the face of MCW. Ooh. Bruiser himself, the franchise player he could in MCW. He could dump Ken Dixon anywhere he wanted to right there. And Bruiser himself, public enemy number one of the kingdom, and Ryan McBride. Hold on, it's cover. Cover. Public, look, that was a fair count. Let me ask you count. something. Do you think Bruiser really wants to pin Ken Dixon at that point in time? Do I think Bruiser really wants to? No. You know what Bruiser's doing? He's testing the waters. He's seeing, he's telling referee Johnny C, give me a reason. Give me one reason. Give me one reason to put my career on hold for one year. One give me one, year. one annual solid year. Give me one reason that I shouldn't T-bone you right through the canvas. I mean, would you risk it? Would I risk it? Would you it? put it all on the line to get to the man that Ended your opportunity at becoming MCW champion. How, how short-term your memory can be, Creedle. Remember last time at the at, at the at, at the steel cage matchup between the Bruiser and, and McBride. You asked me what I would do. I've never been involved in a blood feud. Those two have a blood feud, and that blood feud seeps over not only between Bruiser and McBride, but the underlings of McBride to Ken Dixon to the Dixon Line security, Joseph Keys, and Robert Locke. And right now, Ken Dixon is feeling the, the reverberations because you know what rolls downhill. Oh, you know what trickles down. I, I think we need to pay attention to this right here. Bruiser moving furniture around. I'm making a point. What would make you think I'm not paying attention? You know what? You know, I try to make a good contribution out here, and you just bust my chops every time. Ken Dixon trying to fire it in. Bruiser down, sending Dixon face first into those steel steps. That's what's happening, though. You ask me what I what, what I, I don't know. I think Bruiser, though, is is the <laughs> he is the the embodiment of a hothead. Well, I'm telling you, he will lose. He will. That's the point. He will put his career on pause. He will sacrifice his career for the sake of revenge. I, well, like the revenant, he will put it all on the line. Unfortunately, I agree with you. He's so angry right now, and Ken Dixon looking to take advantage of it here. As he drops him throat first right on that top cable. And it's so isn't it so tough? It's tough not to take sides. It's tough not to feel the impact on all sides. Even up from up here in the booth. You know what I mean? We know what the bruiser's been through. We know what he sacrificed. We know how deep the soil has been stained red from this blood feud between the kingdom and the bruiser. Where does this all end? We got an official involved now. We got the, the, the MCW brass, the MCW general manager involved now. Oh, and he got caught. Where does it end? 
I have no idea. It may end with Bruiser losing his career here. Oh, and Bruiser. Oh, he slammed on the brakes. Ken Dixon doesn't know it. He does now, doesn't he? I think he does. I think he shook up. No! Oh! Full force. 265 pounds. Full force. You put two bulls in the china shop, it ain't pretty, my friend. I wonder what the referee's count is up to. I, I, you know, you, know, he's, you he's bring up a good point. You bring up a good point. What's the point of a referee to enforce the rules, right? Yes. To hold law and order. But now, all of a sudden, the referee has become a factor in this matchup. It's true. We have to, yeah, we have to keep our eye on the official now. Yes, we do. Not fair to the competitors. Not fair to one competitor. Not fair. Not fair to the competitors. Not fair to the MCW faithful. And for, you know what, man, this may cost me. I may get a fine for this. Yeah, Hell, I may get fired. I don't agree with Phil Stamper's decision here. I don't agree with this second opportunity. John Cochran, Johnny C, whatever you want to call him, should have been Johnny Pack Your Bags and get the hell out of MCW after that. He made it personal. Uh, 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 yeah, he, he made, made it, it personal, personal, and he took it out at the wrong time. Oh, you want to deal with guy. Right. You want to deal with it in the back? Against the Bruiser, go yeah. right ahead. But you screwed this man out of winning the MCW Championship for an unprecedented seventh time. And you're talking about a matchup where they were both throwing their bodies on the line. Yes. Both sacrificing months, shaving months, years off their careers. And the most and dangerous pull match in wrestling. The most dangerous match. Johnny Cochran, he should be a distant memory. He should be like the real Johnny Cochran. Gone. Well, you know, far. emotions are emotions are high, and I apologize. But now with spiral to the top turnbuckle, Ken Dick. Oh, what is he doing? Pretending he's pulling the straps. Now. And I tell you what, there's no love between Dixon and Bruiser. Uh, -uh. remember that strap match? Remember that strap match we witnessed between uh, Dixon? By the way, that's illegal referee. If you want to get in there, <laughs> referee counting and Ken Dixon. Now. Yeah, I have a problem with you. five count, I think, was a little slow. We, we can't, we, that's the point. We can't sit here and call the action. We can't call it down the middle no. because we're looking at the ref. We're worried about, is he going to be fair? So can you imagine if you're the bruiser in there right now, what he's thinking? I, I just, uh, oh, look at Ken Dixon. He's so full of himself. Well, you know, he knows he has the... Uh, the emotions to a boiling point with the bruiser so he knows hold on hooking that that far leg he knows he may be able to catch the big man off his game yeah. ken dixon and, 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 you know just to just to kind of take a sidebar here ken dixon is a player ken dixon is on the cusp right on the edge you know he's one big match away from becoming the guy here in mcw i know you right. sense it you hate to admit it but i know you sense it oh, no listen he, like i said he's a former range television champion he didn't win that by accident he didn't cheat to win it but he still won it nonetheless it's all there though the, the, the whole every tool is in the toolbox all he needs to do is build that perfect Whoa construction that perfect apparatus to launch him into the stratosphere of success here in MCW. Somewhere watching is the reigning MCW Range Television Champion Billy Gunn and you have to know he is watching this match because he might be meeting the winner pretty soon. Hey man, Ken Dixon's got to be coming. He's got to be coming back for that Rage TV title. Hey, it's not to say that Bruiser doesn't want it either. Good point. And I think Bruiser's head's not in that game. No, it's on revenge. That's it. And it's on the referee. It's on the ref. It's on revenge. Look. Not where it belongs in competition. Bruiser trying to fight it to make sure that this submission does not get locked in. Keeping those hands clasped. Sean, talk a little bit about what happens if those hands break, if that lock breaks. Well, so Ken will have Oh, Ken's shoulders are down. One. And look at the strength of the Bruiser trying to pick up Dixon here. Oh Can he do it? Yes, he does. They call that on the playground dumb strength. Oh. You got dumb strength. Caveman strength. Drag a person back to the cave by the by the hair of their head strength. Look at that. Look at yeah, the but Did Ken Dixon take away a weapon here from the bruiser? Because that arm is definitely numb right now. You can see Bruiser trying to slap some life in there. A rotator cuff injury can put you on the shelf for a year plus. How often is that in the world of wrestling right at this particular point in time? Absolutely, man. Big back body drop. 
Brewers are fighting with one arm. It's a good arm, though. Close line after close line. And Ken Dixon. Oh. Dixon still wishing he was back in that driver's seat with that arm bar. Predicament no longer the case. What's he going for? A power driver? Looks like a power oh, bomb. Power bomb. We've seen our, uh, the bruiser oh, utilize the this buckle before. Buckle bomb. That's how he won that strap match, if you recall. Ken Dixon, the line, as was alluded to earlier by Ryan McBride, the line between chaos and civility. And Ryan McBride, once it restored, can the line Dixon do Whoa. so? Ken Dixon just shoved the bruiser right at the referee, Johnny C. That's unfortunate. What's going on? Johnny C's okay, though. Johnny C's okay. T He's all right. That big T-bone. That's going to be it. Oh, what the hell? Are you serious right now? What the hell? What is going on? And the bruiser knows what's going on here. Has there ever been a showcase of bigger bull crap in this industry than that 10 seconds we just witnessed? Look at, oh. He got caught in the corner. He didn't hit Bunch his shoulder. Of bull crap, a travesty this is, to this industry that we are oh witnessing. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Bruce are gone. Well. Think about your career. Think about your family. See you next year, Bruiser. This isn't worth it. He isn't worth it. See you in 2017. If you're going to get it, get your licks in and make them count. Oh, come on. Ken Dixon with a low blow. And I believe that was right in front of the referee. Right in front of that. That's not a referee. He's right there. That's a piece of crap. That's not a referee. That's a piece of human crap. Dixon dropping him. Oh, now his arm is okay. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I got nothing to say about this. I got nothing to say about this. Dixon! His arm was not okay enough to count the pinfall for the bruiser, but somehow, in less than 30 seconds, he was able to do it for Ken Dixon, who's walking arm in arm with the referee. This business lives in an area that are shades of gray. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, that piece of crap Johnny C can get the hell out of our business. He just screwed over the franchise player in MCW. My head's about to explode. I, I'm done. I'm done for this. I'll check in with you later.